lots of questions, but still just very few answers. We don't have a clear explanation yet of how a woman was hit and killed by a fire truck here that was on its way to help her. Hey, if I can get one or two more units down here, I need to shut the road down. The fire truck actually struck this individual. Police say someone had called 911 just before 2.30 this morning for a woman who appeared to be in an altered state and was walking in and out of the roadway. Both police and firefighters responded. The caller waved down police as they arrived, but somehow engine 31 hit the woman and killed her. Hey, she was on the road, run over by engine 31. Here's the DOA. That complainant saw the woman uh, in and out of the roadway, and that's what prompted the original call for service to check on her. Police say that the officer who arrived first did not see the woman lying in the road. Engine 31 was behind him, and while the captain saw the woman and yelled for the driver to stop and turn, it was too late. 23-year-old Ashley Boardman of Middleburg was pronounced dead at the hospital. Detectives are still trying to determine if drugs or alcohol were factors. Police and fire officials do say that the firefighters are deeply shaken by what happened. I mean, they're people too. Anybody who would be involved in this type of situation is very traumatic. Reston has tons of trees and the residential areas have fewer street lights than a lot of suburbs. It is really dark out here at night, but whether that had anything to do with the crash is still unclear. In Reston, Bruce LaShan, WUSA 9.